Welcome to the History Hunters Adventures. Join me and look at some of the past for the World War II time frame. I will show you something very special today and even the things that I'm walking on here is special. This is a very small road built by the Germans. We're somewhere at the Atlantic Wall sort of fortification line and uh, you can see here it's the middle of nowhere and the Germans made a small road. And that road is leading up to something that I want to share with you here today. So I'm going to try if we can show it uh, close up and see if I can get some very, very nice aerial photos of this thing. So, what I'm going to show you today is this thing here. It's an octagon. It's a German Wehrmacht or organization Tut built um, octagon that was used to put guys inside with machine guns and keep track of the coastline here. So these were built to defend uh, long stretches of coastline and they were there are there are there are hundreds of them during the or along the Atlantic Wall coastline and this is one of them. It's like an outpost, it's a very very efficient stronghold. You can put in uh, four or five guys there with machine guns, thousands of rounds of machine gun ammunition, and they could stay there for days fighting the enemy who might come out there from the sea. The Allied was supposed to come from this side and uh, the Germans were ready with their bunkers and the fortifications. There were no coincidence uh, why this sort of heap of concrete was placed here. The organization taught were directly instructed almost under Hitler to put out the uh, Atlantic Wall. Thousand, like 16, 17, 18,000 buildings just to defend the strip from the southern part of France to the northern tip of Norway. And it was a very, very, very strong sort of uh, statement. And uh, the Germans actually thought that if they sort of fortified the whole coastline on this stretch, they would never sort of uh, be able to be uh, conquered. But uh, you know, that was a big uh, mistake. They should never have put so much sort of effort into it. And uh, all the, I think it was several hundred billions of dollars that the Atlantic Wall costed in today's equivalent sort of currency. And uh, maybe they did put their money on the wrong spots. So here we are, very nice addition of this type of uh, thing out there. I can actually see bullet holes on the top there. Maybe it was attacked by this way here. But uh, it's a machine gun, sort of, uh, we do call them octacons. We have opening there, opening there, and a lot of sort of places where you can stick out the machine gun. You can see on the top there, you can see some of the uh, bars where they put the uh, camouflage canvas like right there and I do see it's been sprayed with bullets so who knows it could have been attacked by the Allied aircrafts so but let's go inside and uh, have a look and see what it's like in there so you 
coming in like this. This wall was made so that you won't get any splinters in if there's a hit coming in that way. This wall would sort of prevent the splinters from coming inside. And you can see the roof is curved like that. This is the opening where they would have the machine gun attachment. They're definitely gone because this looks like it's from a newer time frame. This concrete here, there would be like a machine gun uh, pivot attachment there. And you could go like da -da 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 -da, all the way around this side, this side. So you have another cutout here. Also here I can see it's been sort of uh, restored. They took out the original sort of uh, attachment. They're very sought after. So they were probably gone in the 60s or 70s. You see the attachment here for different kinds of uh, equipment here. On these metal spikes coming out from, from, from the wall here. And you can see here in this one we have like one two, three, four, five openings and all of them were sort of uh, capable of uh, firing in different directions and the roof as I said is curved and uh, it was very very strong. You can see the other opening here the same thing you can come in from there and you can see there's an overlap so if there wasn't a either a hand grenade or something coming in here the most of the blast would be absorbed by this 90 degree turn here. On the sides here, not too many things to see. Maybe they had some sort of attachments in the wall here, I'm not sure. But it's the same story everywhere. The original sort of attachment is gone long time ago. You can see the salt stalactites coming out of the concrete there. That's the white stuff, that's salt. So quite an impressive small structure if you ask me. The reason for it being like that, that is because you have a big movement area for the machine gunner on the inside. They could quickly turn the machine gun from the right to the left, down and up. And when the machine gun was pivoting on that sort of rod coming up like this and you attached it, it was an amazing sort of uh, equipment to defend a very big area. So you can go from this side very quickly, attach the machine gun. If the enemy changed direction, you just run over there. And maybe you had five guys with machine guns here, who knows? You can see some more attachments for the camouflage canvas the spikes sticking out there and you can see the curvation of the roof that was done on purpose it's not like a nine degree because that would be easier to destroy so this curved sort of roof would give the downcoming bomb or, or, or you know rockets whatever shrapnel it would sort of just bang go off it so and there's one of the uh, Openings for the machine gun from the outside. You can see it's a wooden frame and it would have been uh, very difficult to get the guy inside there. This is the sort of business end and uh, looks like they had some sort of special arrangement on the outside there because I've never seen this thing on the outside. That's normally not there. It's very open normally so you can uh, get a shot at any angle. But this is what the enemy would say and imagine how difficult it would be to, to, to shoot into that sort of bunker area there. Same here, seems to be some sort of special arrangement on the corner there. You got one hole there, one hole there. You see the stalactites, and you know, these structures were quite rough actually, but they were built by a special procedure by the organization TUT. They uh, hired local entrepreneurs, and if they couldn't do that, they would just use prisons of war and they built them. And there are hundreds of them along the uh, uh, Atlantic Wall coastlines.